The video tells the story of Elizabeth Lizzie Carter, a 24-year-old aircraft mechanic working at the Royal Air Force's North Weald Base during the Battle of Britain in August 1940. Lizzie noticed that the standard anti-aircraft guns at the base kept failing after firing only a small number of rounds, and clearing the jams took dangerously long during air raids. After inspecting the weapons, she discovered that the issue was caused by a tiny misalignment, just two millimeters, in the ammunition feed mechanism. This precise observation pushed her to develop a completely different solution. Working secretly over 21 nights and using scrap materials she found around the base, hydraulic tubes, a steel rod from a damaged Merlin engine crankshaft, and a rotating lever made from a bicycle pedal, she built a multi-barreled rotating machine gun similar to a Gatling gun. The key to its success was a three-degree offset in the ammunition feed path, a small detail ignored by military engineers, but one that completely eliminated jamming and made her weapon outperform the official guns. On the day of a fierce German attack on the base, the standard guns once again jammed while Luftwaffe aircraft bombarded the area relentlessly. Lizzie rushed to the anti-aircraft position, pulled out her homemade gun from under a canvas cover, and started firing without waiting for permission. In just 14 minutes, she succeeded in shooting down seven German aircraft, bombers and fighters, saving the base from total destruction and disrupting the German assault, forcing the incoming formations to retreat. Although her weapon, later named the Carter MKI-1, outperformed all official models with a zero jam rate, the Royal Air Force refused to acknowledge her achievement publicly due to political and social sensitivities and because she was an unauthorized woman. The weapon was classified, Lizzie was quietly reassigned to a rear post, and her name was removed from the design documents, even though her engineering principles, especially the feed offset, were later incorporated into new air defense systems. Lizzie died in 1981 without ever revealing her story. Her son eventually discovered the original hand-drawn plans in their attic, along with a single note that read, two millimeters, that's all it takes to change the world. The story concludes by reminding us that true innovation does not wait for permission and that real heroes often remain uncelebrated.